Good afternoon, CRM practitioners. We are the Water Coolers. We're a comedy group from New York City, but we don't just do spoken comedy. We're also professional singers, and we take the songs that you hear every day and rework them so they sound like you wrote them about your lives. Now, we've been doing some research into your event, and out of all the interesting and useful facts we've uncovered, the most important thing we've learned about CRM practitioners is, CRM practitioners, you rock. Woo! Woo! So, before we officially kick off today's entertainment, we just have one question. CRM practitioners, are you ready to rock? I said, CRM practitioners, are you ready to rock? Okay. I said, hard working. Social media conversant. Technology mastering CRM practitioners gathered here today in the great city of Chicago, Illinois. Are you ready to rock? <laughs> All right then, CRM. We are the water coolers. It's great to get together at an amazing event like this and brainstorm with other brilliant minds in your field. But even as we speak back at the office, not everyone is waiting with open arms to hear everything you've learned <laughs> at this amazing event <laughs> that they didn't get to go to. You're at a conference learning the new idea. Maybe we're glad, or maybe we're not so pleased. You were selected, we didn't get to go. But are we waiting home, all aglow, status quo, or gung-ho? When you're at a conference, what is going on back? Okay, come lecture us. We've been waiting all week long. Tell us what we're doing wrong. Oh, good. Come enlighten us. It's clear that no one here has got a clue. Lucky, yeah, you. Come back again, we'll manage somehow to carry on, carry on, till you get back from the conference. I wish that I was in Chicago on a trip. Why, Why not me? Why not me? I could use some more air miles. We think it is nonsense. We're not at the conference. Why? Why did you go? Why did you go? Why did you go? Why did you go? Why did you go and not me? Want to go? I see you there in the bar on the first night. Trying to network, knocking back a Jaeger bomb, hanging with friends in a fancy hotel. Easy life, easy gig. I would like to go. Nice hot tub. No, we do not get to go. Let me go. Room service. Do not get to go. Let me go. Lake Michigan. Do not get to go. Let me go. Do not get to go. More sangria, more sangria, more, more sangria, sangria, let me go. You hit the road and guess you didn't get to go. Oh, oh, that lost. Hope you're rocking the CRMC and don't have a care. Hope you're having a big delay at Midway or O'Hare. Of course we won't show you that we even know you've been gone. You mean you've been gone? Wow. How'd we get along? Did you bring some 
swagger back. Last year, everybody got a pen. Can we have our pen now? And now, we would like to present our tribute to the joys of modern travel. All my bags are packed, I'm ready to go. Six hour flight, and I'm in coach. It's like a DMV up in the sky. There's a kid behind me, he's kicking my seat. The plane is packed tight, it smells like wet feet. And now the kid behind me starts to cry. So kick me and sneeze on me. Tilt your seat back till you crush my knees. Keep your laptop on so we all die. I'm flying in economy. Three seats on either side of me. Oh God, I have to pee. Good afternoon, passengers. We'd like to welcome you to today's flight. For those of you in first class, we'll be starting our meal service shortly. Today's entrees include filet mignon, lightly seared fresh tuna on organically grown Boston bib, or a Caesar salad tossed for you at your seat by one of your personal valet. For those of you in coach, enjoy your snack. <laughs> Of course, all of this assumes we actually take off. Delay. Delay. Delay, come and me want go home. D. I say 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 delay. Delay, come and me one go home. Spent all week at a work retreat. Delay, come and me one go home. Now my body's tired and my brain is meat. Delay, come and me one go home. Air traffic controller man, don't delay my flight now. Delay, come and me one go home. If I don't make it home tonight, it's really gonna bite now. Delay, come and me one go home. Got one hour, two hour, three hour wait. Delay, come and me one go home. Cause they put you on the plane, but they keep you at the gate. Delay, come and me one go home. They factor in the delays now in case of wind or showers. Delay, come and me one go home. So for a trip that you can drive in three, a flight takes seven hours. Delay, come and me one go home. D, I say delay. Delay, come and me one go home. D, I say D. 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 I say delay. Attention passengers, we apologize for the delay and thank you for your inconvenience. What? And last but not least, we do have some information about your flight. It's been canceled. <laughs> delay, come and me one go Now, there are many different types of people in the workforce today. Some are more tech-oriented, and some, some are more old school. These people can be identified by a certain large object that they always have with them, that they are never seen without. Carry around a binder, son. Keep it with you till you're done. 
In a world of iPads and phones, you must walk alone. Finder. We all deal with daily on-site confusion. We use every tool to find a solution. Technology is always changing. But I will not change. I see young folks running around with their phones high, searching desperately to find some free Wi-Fi. But all I need is just my binder with everything all printed out. Carry around a binder, son. Keep it with you till you're done. In a world of iPads and phones, you must walk alone. Now, a song about communication. Uh, more specifically, certain types of communication. Even more specifically, what one types in those types of communication. My good friend was emailing a client who's insane. She CC'd me and I thought she should know I felt her pain. I used a few rude words to say that client had some gall. Then I noticed much too late I hit reply to all. Oh, I wish I had one more chance to look at the address field. I just begged IT to, to say, say I got, got hacked. But now that it's out there in the net I want it back Yes, I do now I want it back Ooh, ooh, baby I want it back I'm so sorry I want, I want it back Please don't fire me When we go to conventions, things get freaky after dark Last year I woke up half naked in a park I had to get a ride home, so I tried to text my bro I made a small mistake and texted my CFO. He was not amused. Oh, baby, I was just one letter off. My phone auto-corrected. Why can't it let me spell things myself? I guess that selfie was a bad idea. Putting it mildly. But now it's never going oh, away. God, I want it back. All oh, I want it back. 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 the whole web. Oh, it's so easy now to wreck your life, especially, especially on Twitter. Someone help me go back in time. I want it back. Get that email. I want it back. Get that selfie. I want it back. I was stupid. I want it back. Someone help me. I want it back. Next, do you consider yourself a confident person? Whoa. What's your honest opinion of your social skills? Whoa. How do you feel about crowds? Whoa. This next song is about something most of us have had to go through at one time or another. Some people thrive in these situations. Some people go to great lengths to avoid them. Some organize them. But even the strongest among us has at one time or another felt that paralyzing twinge of fear and self-doubt while preparing for this anxiety-inducing rendezvous with destiny. We're talking, of course, about a networking event. Whoa. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Whoa! You walk into the room and stop two feet from the door. Whoa! 
You want to make a friend, but you fear that you'll be ignored, starting to sweat. You're feeling alone. Pretend to read texts on your cell phone. Don't fight it. It's coming for you, running at you. Networking event, and there's a keynote after. There's little groups. Everyone is busy talking. You walk up to one, but then you just continue walking. Whoa. You panic, it's go time, it's time to mingle. Whoa. It's like Valentine's Day, but you're feeling really single. Whoa. There's someone standing by themselves, now it's time for action, Whoa. time for the show. You don't really want to go. We're the schmoozers with the schmooze, schmooze. While they're sipping complimentary booze. You stand like an emu, no one will talk to you. Ooh, networking event tonight. They're here to win. We're the rock stars of LinkedIn. Watching them parley boo. What are you gonna do? Ooh, networking event tonight. Networking event. You catch someone's eye and you bite back your fight or flight. Networking event. Hope they don't suspect you're a networking troglodyte. Don't blow it, they're standing right there smiling at you. You think it, they'll know it and they're gonna catch you. You take a deep breath and you suck back your fear. You remember your icebreaker and say, hey, what brings you here? Well, I'm a successful and talented business person looking to make valuable connections. Me too. I'm sorry, I couldn't help overhearing. Did you just say that you're successful and talented business people looking to make valuable connections? We are. Want to exchange business cards? We, we do! do. Woo! Networking event tonight! The networking event is here. The hour that I used to fear. But it's once more into the breach. With my elevator speech. The networking event is here. It's nothing that you have to fear. Suck it up and you're gonna see. This is where you wanna be. This is where I wanna be. Where the schmoozers put the shrew and schmooze. Where the introverts are paying their dues. Impossible comes true. Someone will notice you. Ooh, networking event tonight. like to do a group of songs we call the Annoying Coworker Medley. First up, a guy I'm sure you've all seen, or at least heard. I'm a loud talker. I'm a loud talker. I'm like a fog warning. First thing in the morning. In the cube right beside you. You know, it's like my voice is inside you. I'm just so loud. Talking. How loud I am talking! Well, I am casually yelling. You're like a bunker, I'm chilling! I'm just so loud, i talker! Next up, a song about that person you can always count on to show up at your desk bright and early and never leave. Well, even in your doorway, I can usually be found. I show up when you're busy and just sort of hang around. I never seem to process that you got a lot to do. I figure I'm not working, pal, so why the heck should you? Cause I'm a loiterer, yeah, I'm a loiterer. I hang around, 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 around. Oh, well, I stand outside your queue. You can ignore me. Five minutes later, I'm still standing there. I call you dude despite your sex, cause I don't know your name. Who cares if you're a sports fan? Dude, did you see the game? And when you're on a call, I can't live well enough alone. I hold my hand like this and whisper, are you on the phone? Cause I'm a loiterer. Yeah, I'm a loiterer. I hang around, 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 around. Dude, tell 
tell me you saw Dancing with the Stars last night. Yeah! Next up, a song for anyone who's ever been to a meeting or event. Uh, more specifically, an out-of-town meeting or event. Never in Chicago, of course. Who you always meet at the company retreat? It's that guy. That guy. Nothing you can say will make him go away. He's that guy. That guy. That guy. Naked cannonballing on the very first night. Curling on the bus right from the final offside. There's nothing you survey of a thousand people under the category most annoying things about corporate life. The top three answers were answer number three, corporate life. Answer number two, going to an out of town meeting or event and waking up in the hotel lobby having lost an article of clothing. And the number one most annoying thing about corporate life is the, the cheesy, cheesy team, team building, building exercise. exercise. Hello. That's what I like to hear. Welcome to Team Building Triple Play, the cheesy corporate team building game that brings people together by showing them they're not alone. Aww. Are you ready to play? I'm sorry, I said, are you ready to play? Awesome, let's have our two contestants. Can I have Heather Costello and Dave Ratner up on stage? I see one, I see one, I see two. Come on up, my friends. We have Heather and Dave. Them. Let's hear it for our amazing contestants. Thank you so much. Here he comes, here he comes. We got Dave there, we got Heather over there. Come on over, my dear. Right this way, right this way. Hi, so nice to meet you. I'm gonna stand right there. Where's the, oh, there you are. I thought you got lost. <laughs> Where'd you go? Wonderful, let's hear it for our amazing contestants. Wonderful, what's your name? I'm Dave. Dave, I, okay, I figured. And you must be Heather. Yeah. <laughs> are you two ready to play team building triple play? All right, here are the rules. We are going to ask you three questions. The first person to raise their hand gets a shot at the top answer. If you miss the top answer, your competitor gets a chance. And every so often, for no reason at all, you'll hear this music. That music means we've entered the team building zone, where you'll be asked to perform a lame team building exercise that you've probably done a thousand times before and have hated each and every single time. Are you ready to play? Excellent. In the category of things you should know about the event that you're at, your first question is, what does CRM stand for? Heather. Customer Relationship Management. That is correct. <laughs> Customer Relationship Management. Very, 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 very good. Uh-oh. That means we've entered level one of the team building zone. And since, Dave, you didn't raise your hand on that one, you're going into the zone. <laughs> Today's team building exercise is let's, let's build, build a, a band. band. OK, so now you, my friend, you're going to come right down here with me. So you come right down here with me. Oh, Heather, you stay there. You got the question right, so you're all good. <laughs> all right, everyone knows that in a successful band, everyone has their job to do. And they depend on the other team members to do their job well. And how can you have a great band without having a great lead singer? That's right, Dave. We're going to make you the lead singer in a band. May I have the team building cue cards, please? Here we go. Here we go. 
here we go. All right, this is very easy. We are going to sing a song together. My lines are in black and yours are in red. And now the secret to singing in band is that you don't actually have to sing. You can just be able to speak, right? You can do that for me? Yeah. Great. All right. Of all the places that I... Let's give it a shot without music. Ready? Of all the places that I... Like to be. The best of all is on a... Team OE. When I'm on a team, you can... Count on me. I'm a team. Player. Let's hear it for our amazing rock star lead singer. May I have some music, please? Here we go. Of all the places that I like to be, the best of all is on Team OE. When I'm on a team, you can count on me. I'm a team player. Ooey, ooey, ooey. Welcome to round two, where the points are doubled and the questions are a little harder. Even though there's no real winner, and the only prize is that you eventually get to sit back down. <laughs> are you ready for your second question? In the category of things you should know about the event that you're at, in what... Don't try that, Dave. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> in what city is the CRMC 2019 taking place? Yes. Chicago. That is, of course, correct. We are in the beautiful city of Chicago, Illinois. Good job, Dave. That was great. Uh-oh. That music means we've entered level two of the team building zone. And since you didn't go in the first time, you're going in now. Right down here with me. We're going to go right to where we were before. All right. So another important part of any band are, of course, the musicians. And since we don't have any drums here with us today, you are going to be our drum section. Luckily, the drum part is very easy. It goes just like this. You want to watch him do it? Want to give it a shot? There you go. Yeah, let's hear for amazing yeah. rock star drummer Heather. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, now the only other thing you need to learn is the count in. Luckily, ours is very easy. All you have to do is count to six. In fact, audience, let's help Heather out on this one, right? When we point at you, we're going to count to six. Are you ready? Let's give it a shot. Ready, and one, one two, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we can do better than that. One more time, a little bit louder. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's put that all together with a little song we like to call Teamwork Mambo Number Five. Audience, count us in. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six. A little bit of teamwork in our day. Little time to work together. We'll light our way. It's always better whatever you have to do. Working together will make our dreams come true. Working together is fun. Take it from me. Together in true solidarity, a little teeny bit of teamwork gets you through. So give yourselves a hand, you made it through. Woo! Let's give it for amazing rock star drummer. That was so good, Heather. Wonderful. All right. Welcome to round three, where the points are tripled and you can still win big. Are you ready for your third and final question? This one's a toughie. All right. And it's a multiple choice, by the way. Chicago is known as. A, the sunny city, B, the breezy city, or C, the, let me say the last one, the windy city. Well, that was, that was close. I'm going to go with Heather. The windy city. That is, of course, correct. It is very windy thanks to this wonderful lake that we got. Uh-oh. That music means we've entered level three of the team building zone, and in level three, we all get to become... Dancers! Woo! Heather, you're gonna come right down here. Dave, you're gonna go right down there. All right, what is a great band nowadays without some good backup dancers? Luckily, our dance is very easy. All you're gonna do is spell the word team. So Heather, you're gonna be our, you already know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, t you're the T. Excellent, I love it. Dave, you're the M in team. What are you gonna do? I love, <laughs> I love it, that's great. So now when we point at you, you form those letters. And audience, we're all gonna be a team together on this last one, so when we point at you, you yell teamwork. Are you ready? Teamwork, let's give it a shot. One, two, three, four. Teamwork. Oh, we could do better than that. One more time, a little bit louder. One, two, three, four. Teamwork. All right, Team CRM here we go. Here we 
we go. Teamwork. It's what makes us all strong. It's called teamwork. teamwork. How can our team go wrong? Not with teamwork. teamwork. What's the name of this song? It's called T E A M. Teamwork. 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 Gets more fun every day. Hey, hey. Teamwork. It turns work into play. Okay. Teamwork. I guess I'd have to say I like team. Teamwork. <laughs> Here we go. It's fun to be on a T E A M. It's fun to be on a T E A M. You have everything to succeed at your work. Cause with teamwork, you just can't stand around and be a jerk. T E A M. It's fun to be on a T E Contestants Dave and Heather, it was so nice meeting you. Thank you so much for joining us and a hand for yourselves. Thank you so much, Team TRM. Wonderful. All right. This song is dedicated to that person in the office who always has your back. Hopefully, not within arm's reach. Watch me work now. A smile in your face. Thinking about how to take your place. The backstabber. Backstabber. A smile in your face. It's the rattlesnake of your office space. The backstabber. Backstabber. I'm your BF. FF at work. Someone you can trust. Yeah. But I'm waiting to throw you right under the bus. Yeah. Yeah. I'll rat you out. Won't regret it that if you do the work and then I'll take the credit. I smell good by making you stink. I lie right to your face and I won't even blink. Hashtag two face. A smile in your face and sabotage with a subtle grace. The backstabber. Backstabber. I spread rumors behind your back. Then patiently wait. Yeah. Watch my finger pointing. Cause by the time you deny them, it's always too late. Yeah. Yeah. Your career, I'm detonating by cheating, backbiting, and manipulating. See me whisper in a coworker's ear, but I always stop talking whenever you're near. A two brute, a smile in your face, thinking about how to take your place. The backstabber, backstabber. Hey, pal, how you doing? Backstabber. And of course, there is that place in the world where evil lurks. A place where even the strongest person can be reduced to a stammering, voiceless tool of the medium. It's called the helpline. What are you doing? My computer with all my notes for the big presentation just went down. So what are you doing? I have to call the helpline. So why don't you? Because <laughs> I'm afraid. Of? Helpline people. You're afraid of helpline people? Maybe. Why? Because they laugh at me. You've actually heard them laughing well, don't at be you? Don't ridiculous. Good, because, you know, for a minute there, That's I thought... That's why they put you on hold. Steve, do you ever think that maybe they were checking a manual or consulting no, with the super... No, laughing, laughing with their evil helpline friends. Do you want me to call them for you? Would you? No. Hello. 
Uh, hi, I'm having some kind of technical issue And welcome issue with my to our new convenient automated helpline. Your time is important to us, so to better direct your call, please enter your seven-digit personal access code. Please follow all entries with the pound sign. Uh, my what? I'm sorry, but I don't understand what you entered. Please enter your seven-digit personal okay, uh, access uh, code. What if please I don't have a seven-digit personal access code? If you've forgotten your personal access code, please press one or say the word help. What if I never had a seven-digit personal? I'm sorry, but I don't understand what you entered. If you've forgotten your personal uh, uh, access uh, 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 code. All right, all right. Please follow all entries with the pound sign. Thank you. Please hold while we connect you to a helpline technician. Your hold time right now is less than three minutes. <laughs> three minutes, yeah, right. Like it's not going to be three weekends before I actually talk to a person. Hello. Uh, hi. This uh, is the help desk. Okay, great. I'm having some kind of issue with my personal access. And your birthday is subtracted by three. Okay. And your number it doesn't matter. Oh, wait, there, there's a zero. What do I do if there's a zero? I can do that. If you're having trouble with your computer, press 1. If you know what's wrong with your computer, press 2. If you think you know what's wrong with your computer, press 3. If you have no idea what's wrong with your computer, just say the word help. Help. Now say please. What? I'm sorry, but I don't understand what you entered. Please hold while we connect you to a helpline technician. The current holding time is approximately three weekends. What? Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm calling. I I'm seeing All of our helpline kind of technicians are busy right now, so please continue to hold. Hello, this is Gloria. I'm a helpline technician. Oh, hi, Gloria. Uh, my name is Steve. Your call I'm will be answered in the order it was received, so please stay on the line. Even though you're way down on the list. I, I, I just need some technical assistance with my computer or printer or maybe both, okay? I, I don't need approximate hold times. I don't need seven-digit personal access codes. I just need to talk to a person, one actual breathing person who can help a poor, frustrated, and, and technically challenged man figure out what has gone so horribly wrong with his computer or printer or maybe both. Your files all are trashed. He's there in a flash. Yippee ki oh! Yippee ki oh! -ee. He's the IT cowboy. See what your problem here is? Your Cisco router isn't letting STMP traffic through, and your DG and CG security levels are conflicting with the perimeter algorithms. And that's bad. Not really. It's not uncommon when your motherboard's bus raid controller isn't reading your hard drive's dmaconfig.sys due to an electromagnetic disk impulse transmitted through the fiber ethernet uplink cable. So I should... Turn it off and turn it back on again. Wow. Thanks, IT. Proposal is due. Your printer just blew. Let's face it, you're screwed. Printer. Smile and nod when you can. Pretend you understand. He's a techno rain man. Yippee ki oh! Everyone, it's printing. Yippee ki oh! It's printing oh, like the wind. He's the IT cowboy. He's the IT cowboy. Wait, wait, what are you doing? My work here's done, it's time to move on. But what if it happens again? Don't worry, you'll be all right. But, but I- Hey, don't worry. 
All you have to do is call. Call? Call who? The helpline. We couldn't call ourselves the water coolers without doing a song about technology. Mm. Technology. Technology. We all love technology. I love technology. I enjoy technology very much. Technology is good. Ah, but love changes. And sometimes even the best love can go wrong. Sometimes, even over the course of just a few short years, a love that seemed like such a good, good thing can take us to a bad, bad place. A place we never wanted to go. A place we never dreamed we'd be. A crazy, busy place. Cause now every, 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 everyone can reach Listen to my story now. Got a great job in the city. In the city. But now the client wants to reach me every night and day. It's hard, hard to hold my laptop, iPad, and my Kindle while I read another message that I do not need. Touch screen keeps on rolling. And my Keeps on scrolling, and I'm scrolling, 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 scrolling on a touch screen, scrolling on a touch screen. One, two, three, four, yeah, 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 yeah. So addicted to my iPhone. Last night I asked if it was mad at me. Mine's dating my wife. Gotta break this wife I go dependency. When did we become a nation that's addicted, addicted to, to communication? communication. Scrolling, 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 scrolling on a touch screen. And we got to stop this thing where everyone can reach me. Sweating for Sweaty Betty. Or cruising the fast lane for Lane Bryant. Nobody knows how to turn customer data into customer action like you. You know that customer base like the back of your hand. No wonder they think you're superhuman. Which is probably why they keep asking you for customer information that is literally unknowable. But if anyone can know the unknowable, it's the folks in this room. <laughs> Call us when you need us, we know the stats. Our customers interests and where they're at. We'll get the scoop, give you everything you need. Demographics and behaviors analyzed with ease. Tailor texts and emails to say anything you please. But we don't read minds. So don't go to wild but We'll meet your requests. Putting us to the test. We carefully analyze. We don't 
just wild guests. Our work is first place, but we can't move time and space. But give us a chance, your customers will engage. Just don't ask which buyers wish that they had different colored eyes. Or who dream about horses or never tell lies. When I say I'm a wizard with data, I don't mean literally. We'll meet your requests as long as they're common sense. We don't have ESP, but we can pinpoint the trends. There's no crystal ball. But we can still do it all When you need research We know just who you're gonna call We'll meet your request Now, to meet these requests, you've got to have a ton of data know how to work with it, and know how to keep it safe. And know how to use it to reach the customer without creeping them out. It takes a lot of specialized knowledge, knowledge that can be hard to explain to your coworkers who don't nerd out about it like you do. <laughs> That's why it's nice that we're here, where we all share that CRM language. We know the metrics, like customer retention and average order value. It's all collected from click-through rate to net promoter score. Kind of like a walled garden. It's our own little world. Wow, yeah! We know the metrics to help you find the best customer experience. Find we got the best tricks. Subscription boxes and next day delivery. Points, perks, and pop-up store. A language all of our own. All of RMC, I can speak openly using these terms we share. We, we know, know the metrics to help you find the best customer experience. Find what's effective. Subscription boxes, next day delivery. Between the customer touch points, we rule our own little world. Wow. Every day, you're out there coming up with the newest ways to succeed. Maybe you're a digital native company opening up to physical stores, or a DTC company making a move to bypass the big boxes. Whatever your niche, the work that you do has a real impact on the success of everyone in your organization. CRM people are the brand's superheroes. Although if the brand is Disney, you will have to compete with their many actual superheroes. The market is always changing, and you're always rolling with the punches. And that's the kind of attitude that makes a champion. We increase incrementals in spite of the stress. We build loyalty programs into continued success. The fancy approach, that's our main goal. We'll show them we're more than a showroom for stuff in their Amazon car. And we'll go on and on and on and on. Here, CRM folks, my friends. We try to keep up with all the trends. From brick and mortars to We 
rethink hard about the way consumers spend. We've got a mission a brand recognition. We spin the tales that help bring in the sales. That's to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to find out what we come up with next. Thank you again, CRMC, and have a lovely evening.